Welcome. back to my channel and today it is time to do a remodeling on this garage so what I've done previous which is two days ago what I've done is remove shelving right here and crack filled holes there's only tiny nail screw holes that was there but it's done it's ready ready for paint and I've done the same right here. Just yesterday, there was a box here, which, which was basically a small area for tools. So that came down, these holes got filled, and right over here, I'm not sure, <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about this, but this is an old setup. And what I want to do is get rid of this mess here we are, this is the before. I cannot wait for you to see the finished product. This wooden shelf right here is gonna be removed. Right above all on these three walls right here, it's gonna be floating shelves. The shelves are all gonna be on the walls. It's just wasted space guys up there. Definitely a great idea for space savers. So that's where all of this is going to go. That's step one of remodeling the garage. The floor has to get done, painting, shelves. All right, got my painting shoes on. Time to get painting. Here I go again, just like my Milwaukee set and my tools. I went over and tried to figure out. This comes with uh, two of these roller brushes here. The handles and all this, the, these kits, we're actually $29 at Canadian Tire. It's got everything you need. And the first thing I need are my drop sheets. Because I need to cover my workout benches here. Need to cover my Milwaukee tools for sure. They're brand new. So I have the ceiling paint here and it's flat. This is my least favorite part. I'm excited to get the walls done because realistically, not really looking up to see the uh, color on the ceiling that much, but the walls definitely, I'm excited. Let's check this out. And the good thing is as well, I'd like to mention the floor. As I just dropped a little bit of paint on the floor, don't have to worry about that either with this floor because that is also getting refinished. It's not a significant difference because the ceiling is not even that bad. Now the walls on the other hand, like I said, it's gonna look amazing once the walls are done. Now that I have a small area painted, I think it is gonna make quite a nice difference. That's good. Oh, did I say already how much I dislike 
painting the ceiling. Not, not for any other reason, only it's hard on the neck. I gotta say, yeah, that hurts. Anyway, bottom line is she's over halfway done. Then I need to decide if I'm going to put on a second coat or not. At least I hope I don't. You see it guys, it is application number two of the ceiling paint. I have about a half a can of the ceiling paint left. There's nothing else left to do to it and you never regret a second coat to be honest. Pretty much how that plays out, you never regret it. Well, the ceiling is done. Now onto the walls. Step two. The worst thing I find outside, guys, last night we had about 25 centimeters of snow. And the reason this is a little more difficult to do in the winter, because I can't take all of this outside. So summer is the best time definitely to do it, but in the winter, winter projects, gotta like it. First, my Milwaukee tools. Time to bring everything to the center so I can get easy access to my walls. You guys see this uh, tool set right here, my Milwaukee. Also, if you look right here, you'll see Milwaukee. I'm gonna post a link right here. Check this out. Awesome, good video. Great video. Milwaukee Paco, gotta like it. So now it's time to sand the plaster. This already had a second coat, so it's a very fine layer that needs to come off at this point. Hence, I'll be painting sooner than later. And that completes the sanding. As you can see here, I've got everything moved to the center. So after this side gets painted, Everything, yes, on that shelf right there gets moved next to the garage door. Like I said, not a great time of year in the winter with 25 centimeters, but it gets done, just takes a little longer. started decluttering on the shelf here. Last wall, bit by bit, it is getting done. Back at it. Well, there is the finished product or the video that I wanted to do for you guys regarding, I mean, the step of just painting the garage. What do you guys think? check out the difference in the garage. I absolutely love it. So that'll be part one of remodeling, reclaiming the garage. So the next part or the next step to the garage here, getting all of this into bins, decluttering, definitely some things I need to throw out. But for the most part, I'm gonna get it put in bins. I just picked up about 12, I may need more. But I have the 12 bins, going to get all organized. The next thing today, it's getting started today, phase two will be recycling and reusing these shelves that were taken down. And I'm going to put floating shelves about 18 to 20 inches down. So when I walk by, they're not going to hit my head. So it's going to be floating shelves, as I mentioned earlier to you guys, all right along the walls here. So that'll be it for today. 
Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, I'd like to encourage you to hit the subscribe as well and the like. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.